my youtube channel hi guys welcome you all to my channel in today's video i'm going to be explaining to you guys how to fill in your form so the first thing we have to do is to open up our google chrome and then you go ahead and paste the link i'm going to put the link in the description box below so you can go ahead and check it out so once you are done this is what we have you can see that they are written in polish so you come to this right hand side and then you change the language to english language so that you can understand what we have on the site and definitely take your time to read all these details so let's go ahead now and fill this form we have letter a to v this indicates like countries so if you are in nigeria you select n if you are from ghana you select g if you are from cameroon you select c it's all depend so it's basically depend on what country you are from so for nigeria as an example we are going to go ahead and select n once you click on n is automatically going to bring out like countries that starts with n and then we click nigeria and you can see the consulate is in abuja so you go ahead and click it so once you are done this is what you have go ahead and read all this detail and one of the details that you should also take note of is students and scholarship holders should choose national visa study and if you are applying for work choose national visa work so in this video i'm going to be showing you guys how to fill for study so i'll go ahead and pick national visa fill in form go ahead and click on it and let's see what we have so so guys after clicking on it this is what we have we have the form so we are going to go ahead now and start filling the form this is going to take a long time but just be patient and follow like all the process so for surname now i have adoye as surname and surname as bed so at this point if you are married this number two is where you are going to fill your initial surname and number one is where you are going to fill your husband's surname because this is your current surname and this is your old surname if you get what i'm trying to say but if you are not married you just have one surname so you go ahead and fill it at this point but if you are married your previous surname is going to be number two and then your current surname which is your husband's surname is going to be number one so let's move to number three and then for the first name i'll be using so for number three i'll be using jane as my name and next one we have dates of birth. for the sake of this video i'll be using 2017 2017 i'll be using 1997 1997 06607 please go ahead and fill in your dates of birth and the next one we have place of birth so i'll be using lagos country of birth nigeria go ahead and select your country so the next one we have is current nationalities so for me nigeria also if you're a citizen of another country you can go ahead and select that single now if you are married you go ahead and click on married and in the previous place if you are married you don't forget that automatically this is going to be read because you are supposed to fill in like your second or your first um surname at this point so because you clicked on marriage this part is going to indicate that we need to fill it also so let's go back and change it to single and let's check what we 
So So um we've gone ahead now to click on single and let's see what we have so at this point now you go ahead and fill in the same surname that we have which is Adioye. so let's move to the next one so national identity number this is your nin number for the sake of this video i'll be using this number please go ahead and fill in your nin number so the type of travel documents i'll be using original passports ordinary passports because this is what i have so if you have official passports service passports you can go ahead and select type of passports you have so the next one number 13 travel documents number this the next one we have is travel document passport this is your international passports number and you go ahead and fill what you have as your international passport and also the first page of the international passport you are going to have dates at which your passport was issued and also when it's valid so for the sake of this video i'm going to have 2022-0706 and it's going to be valid up to 2024-0708 so go ahead and check what you have in your passport issued by federal ministry of nigeria because the passport is a nigerian passport right so this is what we have federal ministry of nigeria now we are done with this part the next one we have is the case of minor so minor simply means if you are below 18 years of age we have Adioye because this is what we use for the surname and first name we have Kemi which is like your parents or your sponsor's details so the next one we have is states you go ahead and pick Nigeria so you go ahead and select Nigeria so for what province we have Lagos place as an example i'm going to use ikeja postal code i have 100101 address you go ahead and fill in your sponsor's address as a minor so i have three ikeja streets and this is what you have but if you are not a minor please go ahead and click on does not apply so let's move to the next section of the form okay so we have um number 10 in case of minor that says if you are below 18 years of age you go ahead and fill in all this part because it's assumed that you know you are still a minor and you are going to fill in your guardian or your sponsor or your parent details so but if you are not a minor all you have to do is to click on does not apply and automatically these lines that requires you to be filled are not going to be clickable but for the sake of my know let's go ahead and fill it in so that we can show them how to do it so nationality now these details are for your sponsor or your parents or whoever is standing in for you as a minor so nationality nigeria surname i have kemi first name we have kemi sony we have adioye because this is what we used for so this email address make sure you feel like your correct email address because this is where you are going to get email from the embassy concerning your appointment so for email address i'm going to use kemi adioye at gmail.com at gmail.com phone code which is plus two three four nigeria and go ahead and fill in your phone number so i have that now let's move to the next detail residence in a country other than country of nationality no but if you're a resident of another country go ahead and fill in yes so one thing you're going to notice is when you click on yes these box are going to be opened for you to fill you can go ahead and fill it but for me 
so let's move to the next section of the form applicant home address so this is like your details now whether you're a minor or not is required for you to fill in this section of the form so let's go ahead and pick nigeria province also i will use lagos place i'll go ahead and choose ikedra please go ahead and fill in like your own address so postal code i have one zero zero one zero one and then address i will just use six ikedra street as the address so that is what we have so the next one now is your email address please note that this email address is where you are going to get like your um, appointment email from the email for email i'm going to fill in the email of the school so i'll just use warsaw at gmail.com like i said your school admission has all these details so go ahead and fill it your school admission letter has all these details so please go ahead and use your school detail to fill it so let's move to number 21 the purpose of this journey is to study go ahead and click on study and you have destination country automatically is going to be poland member of state of first entry you go ahead and pick poland also now number of entries required click on multiple entries duration of stay you have 365 days so even if your master's is two years or your bsc is three years please go ahead and pick. so now under states and province i'll go ahead and select warsaw please check your admission form for all these details so i also go ahead and fill warsaw at this point poster code these details are on your admission form you are going to see your school poster code on your admission form and also the phone number of your school so i'll just go ahead now and have this as the phone number as an example and here we have address this is address of your school so i'll just use warsaw street 27 warsaw street please check your admission letter for this and the phone code is 48 plus 48 now for email you are going to fill in your school email here we have duration we have 365 days so if your bsc is three years or four years or your msc is two years your visa is just for one year so you are going to have 365 days year as one year visa so intended date of arrival now intended date of arrival and also intended date of departure now this is usually like um days after two to three weeks after your interview day so we are also going to have 20 zero eight zero nine as an example and intended date to leave 2024-08-07 so you also discovered that intended date of arrival is 2023 and the date to leave is 2024 because your visa year you so for me i have no because i only have i'm only a resident of nigeria alone and this is what it looks like so next thing now you go ahead to number 19 current occupation we have students please go ahead and fill in student because you are definitely going to study and this is what we have for number 19 so for number 20 we have employers and employee address phone number so for students you go ahead and click on school because we are students and we are being invited to study here so yeah you go ahead and fill in your school details so name of your school i'm going to put poland university as an example under the states i'm going to go ahead and select poland um, i'll go ahead and say 
so what this simply means is you are going to arrive in Poland 8 2023 your flight reservation should start on the same day you cannot say you want to arrive on the 8th of August as an example and your flight is saying you booked your flights for 13th or 17th of August automatically they are contradicting themselves so whatever dates you have here should be the dates you have for your flight reservation when you are submitting to the embassy so let's move to the next one national visa issued during the past five years no but if you have a national visa go ahead and click on yes once you click on yes automatically the boxes are going to be opened for you to write from when to when so for us we have no now for number 27 fingerprints collected for previous no so we have internet date of departure we have 2024 and of arrival we have 2023 and the reason why we have one year is because your duration of stay here is 365 days which is one year so this is what you are going to have here arrive 2023 and leave 2024 now i'm also going to say that the same day you have for this intended day of arrival should be the same day you have your insurance also make sure your flight insurance starts on this day intended day of arrival if you have 20 23 8 20, 09, make sure your insurance starts exactly at this day and also your flight insurance also your flight reservation also should start at this day because what this simply means is you are going to arrive in poland this go ahead so let's go ahead and fill this detail and of course all the details you have here are for your school so name i'm going to have warsaw university sorry we we wrote poland university earlier so poland university so because we chose company automatically the first name and the surname are going to be blocked because we chose a company and company doesn't have first name and surname but if the person inviting you is a person once you go ahead and click on this person you are going to observe that this surname and first name are going to be opened for you to fill in the details of the person so let's go ahead now and click on the company and also note that all the information you have here earlier about your school all the information you have here is fingerprints collected previously for Schengen visa we have no and the reason why you have no here is because you've stated here already that for the past five years you've not been issued any visa so automatically you should have no here but if you have yes that is maybe you've been issued another national visa in the last five five years automatically you should have yes here because your fingerprints has been collected in the last five years so now the next one we have is number 31 and 32 surname of the person inviting you in the republic of poland if not applicable the name temporary accommodation and republic of poland so we have company and the company we have here is your school so the company details you have here is your school so let's go ahead and fill this also we have we have phone code plus four five phone number of course the phone number of your school they're definitely going to reach out to your school to confirm if you have admission with them um fast code number of texts all these are in your admission letter please go ahead and check it out so let's move to the next one the cost of traveling and living during the applicant's stay is covered by if you are self-sponsored you go ahead and click self-sponsored if you have a sponsor you go ahead and click by a sponsor so by a sponsor you go ahead and it depends on what you want you can either click self-sponsored if you know you are sponsoring yourself and if you are going as a self-sponsored if you have a sponsor or you are using someone as a sponsor then you can go ahead and click on that so the first one we have is referred to 
so also note that all the details you have in number 20 about your school is also what is required of you to fill in number 31 so take note of that so that you don't feel two different things so we have Poland here and also place I have what's a poster code I'm just gonna use this as an example please check your admission letter for the poster code of your school address I will just use this address let's just assume that this is a Polish word so house number I will just use 45d flat number just use this email use the email address of your school check your admission letter for this so I'll just use wasso at gmail.com so for this now we have does not apply because this information here are for work permits or work visa if you want me to make a video on how to fill application form for work go ahead and put it down in the comment section so the next one we have now is eu citizen data so if you are not an eu citizen all you have to do is to click on does not apply and we move to the next one so the final part we have now is i am aware that the visa fee is not refunded of course when you are going to the embassy you are to come with your 80 euro so you go ahead and click that you've accepted and you've declared to your best knowledge take your time and read all the details and i also go ahead and click on this the next one i have now is to click on next and i'll go ahead and see you can also see that the boxes for this travel and health insurance this is what we have this is what we have so you can click on it and then fill in your health insurance day which is supposed to be like i said the same day of your date of arrival it should be the same day as date of arrival so we have 230809 so let's go ahead and fill what we have there also 230809 and also your flight reservation should start on that same day so let's move to the next one information of work permit so this is for work permit you are going to click on does not apply because you are going for study and if it's the case of work if you want it so after saving it this is what you have thank you for submitting the form your form number is this and then you go ahead and click on print and then you print it out so once they are done this is what you are going to have as the application form and this is what it looks like so the first one we have our surname the second one we have the surname don't forget that if you are married you should have like two different surnames and then we have your first name date of birth please go ahead and cross check all these details very well you know before you submit it so sex female marital status this is the address we filled this is our national identity number we picked ordinary passports um this is our passport number in number 13 date of issued valid up to when this is our date so if you are not sure yet at the point where you are filling this form then don't write the person's name you can just indicate as father or sibling or you can just leave it blank it depends on you but if you are sure of who you are using as your sponsor you can go ahead and write whoever you are using as your sponsor yes yeah. so let's use mr kemi adui means of support during your stay you are going to click on cash accommodation prepaid all expenses and orders this simply means that you know this simply means that your sponsor is going to be in charge or is going to support you with cash with accommodation with all your expenses and also your transport so click on everything now let's move to travel and insurance that you can see that so 
this is our detail our email address where we leave our phone number you can see what it looks like resident of other country no occupation we chose students because of course we are students number 20 this is the details of your school your school address your school phone number the main purpose of study main purpose of the journey we chose study member of states we have poland member states of first entry poland multiple entry schengen visa we have no so basically we are just going through this fingerprints we have no entry permits not applicable intended date of arrival and departure of one year interval because the visa is for one year here also we have your school details as name so if you are using sponsor as an example we have referred to the field 31 and 32 now let's check what we have in 31 and 32 we have our school details in 31 and 32 and of course if the school is not the one sponsoring you you are not to pick that don't forget that in 31 and 32 what we have here is the school details so what you are going to click when you click on sponsor is orders and here you go ahead and write who is sponsoring you so if it's your mother you write mother if it's your sibling if it's your sibling you write brother or you can just write the person's name it depends on you so let's use mr kemi mr kemi adioye it depends on you so go ahead and write whoever is sponsoring you if you are not sure yet at the point where you are feeling once you are giving your appointment the last page of this application form is going to have your appointment date the time and everything at this last page i hope you guys enjoy a video like this let me know if you want to see application form how to fill application form for work visa or any video you want me to make a video on of course i will definitely see you guys in my next one bye here also we have um the school detail as the name and address of the person inviting you and then you have your phone number um for number 33 we have applicants by himself we chose sponsor and you can see we wrote mr kemi adui and we clicked on this so if you're a self-sponsor this part is going to be clicked on and this is definitely what we have i hope you guys enjoyed this video let me know if you want to see videos like this in the comment section and of course i will definitely put up a video on that so for this part now i just like the basic information where we clicked on we declare and we accept so let's move to the lower part of this the last part is where you have your scan code and once you are giving your appointment your appointment is going to be at this lower part the last page of this application